Φίλες και φίλοι, χαιρετίσματα. Μαζί μας σήμερα σε ένα σεμινάριο προπονητικής, ένα σπουδαίος προπονητής, πολύ πολύ γνωστό στον χώρο μας βεβαίως, ο κύριος Πίνι Γκέρσον, ο οποίος θα μας μιλήσει σε πολύ λίγο για το θέμα του transition offense στο σεμινάριο προπονητικής, το οποίο φέρνει κοντά σα η Κυπριακή Ομοσπονδία Καλαθοσφαίρησης μέσα από τις σελίδες της στα social media. Μαζί μας είναι ο προπονητής ο κύριος Μπίνι Κέρσον από το Ισραήλ. Πριν δώσουμε τον λόγο στον coach να πούμε στα γρήγορα κάποια highlights της, του βιογραφικού του. Ένας προπονητής που έχει κερδίσει δύο φορές την Ευρωλίγκα το 2004 και το 2005 με την Μακάμπι Τελαβίβ. Γνωστός και από το πέρασμά του από τον Ολυμπιακό Πυραιός όπου είχε κάποιες πολύ καλές σεζόν με την ομάδα. Κατέκτησε και το FIBA Super League το 2001 και πάλι με την Maccabi Tel Aviv. Τρεις ευρωπαϊκούς τίτλους, ένας από τους κορυφαίους προπονητές στην Ευρώπη mm. τα τελευταία 20 χρόνια. Από το Ισραήλ έρχεται ζωντανά τώρα και θα μας uh, μιλήσει για το Transition Offense. Coach, uh, I will hand over the uh, floor to you and uh, you are free to uh, give us your insight about the subject. Thank you very much, Kalisperas, uh, coaches. Uh... I'm very happy to be here. Thanks to the Cyprus uh, Federation to host me. I want to thank them and thank my uh, assistant, uh, Adir Amar, which is uh, helping me to run this clinic. He's coaching uh, under 17, our uh, Israeli national team. And let's go to the job. Okay. Transition offense is one of my uh, philosophies, and I believe there is a, a big influence, psychological uh, uh, influence uh, on the game if you run it. There is a big difference between um, fast break and transition offense. We have uh, in the game around, uh, around 12 uh, turnovers which 50-55% uh, of them, between six to seven, is uh, steals. Rest, the unforced turnovers. There are some games, and the lower as the division goes, uh, there are more uh, turnovers, unforced turnovers. But we are talking about uh, running the game and push it to pressure offense or transition offense, Uh, from the rebound. There are uh, 21 to 26 defensive rebound in the uh, EuroLeague, and as the lower as the division goes, like uh, local uh, divisions and the uh, second divisions and uh, junior division, the defensive rebound goes to 28 to 38, uh, and uh, it depends on uh, the percentage of the opponents. And as you understand, as lower as the division goes or as lower as the age goes, there are more uh, defensive rebounds. From those rebounds, we want to run. We want to run. Uh, and what I said, the psychological um, uh, influence on the game is when uh, opponents know that you run the floor as quick as possible, as fast as possible, that's influence their decisions. Are they sending two men to offensive rebound, three men to offensive rebound? Are they go to offensive rebound? Are they sprint back to the paint? Are they take a automatic pickup, the offense? Uh, mostly when you run the game, <clears throat> when you run the game, uh, you must believe that the coach of the opponents, for sure in his scouting report, 
will talk about it and players are thinking and thinking what to do on every shot this is also a, I believe reduce some shots percentage um, also we run the transition offense also uh, to take an advantage not numbers because as I said two on one three on two four on three it's fast break but when we run make sure or be sure <coughs> that the players who are going back on defense first are guards and sometimes there are mismatches on defense and as fast as you go to take this advantage you can post up players with an advantage of size okay three on one i mean three positions small forward on point guard small forward on second guard sometimes four on one of the guards i mean power forward on one of the guards this is very important and third thing which is also very important when you run the game and you go uh, fast, you have an advantage on offensive rebound. As quick as you take the shot, a good shot, I mean only good shots, okay? As quick as you take the shot, I believe most of the time you have on a missed shots, you have a good, uh, you have an advantage of size. You have a good chance to take the offensive rebound uh, also. Okay. Uh, we have some uh, easy rules uh, to start. One of them, okay, when you pass the outlet pass, first of all, the big man got to attack the backboard, not waiting for the ball. And uh, the, the fundamentals that not taking the ball under the shoulders as, uh, as soon as he takes the uh, defensive rebound as high as he can he turns to the side of the ball rebound and uh, pass it between the foul line extended and half court when guards take the uh, outlet pass between uh, foul line extended and half court, and for sure he got to call uh, outlet uh, to receive the ball. He has two dribbles to the position we want him on offense. Okay, don't need more than two dribbles from any position between a foul line extended to half court when he received the ball. Now, we want this guy and the run and the man <clears throat> who will run then to the corner to run on the one third of the side that we take, we took the rebound. Okay? One third, we share the floor to three uh, lanes and we go on the side, okay? I'm not leading the ball in the middle because all other four or five players uh, running back on defense through the middle. And when you run in the middle and somebody comes behind you, you start looking left or right if somebody comes to steal your ball. If you... Uh, leading the ball on the side, on the one third of the floor, you see the all, first of all, you see who is open. You see the four players running with you, okay? You don't have to look backward. You see the corner, you see the other corner, and you see the two big men. And this is better situation from point guard or from the man who leading the ball, this can be one or two, and from the corner to pass the ball to the big man. Big man got better vision to see the ball when the ball is in the corner for sure. He can 
finish uh, in the paint and as close as, as possible uh, to the rim. Uh, we will start the, let's say, the, the, the drills. We build the transition with the two-man uh, game. We take the rebound and we, we outlet the pass and we start now building uh, our transition. <clears throat> Okay, big man take the ball, outlet, guard take short or long shot, whatever, but he finish. Okay, two dribbles, we don't need more. We want to minimize our dribbling. Okay, second is big run to finish. We start with big layup. Now, just to let you know <clears throat> that we throw the ball from the middle and we put the guards, the receiver, we put them in the middle because they have to know wherever the ball goes, wherever the balls, uh, we take the rebound, this is the side that we run the transition. Okay, here the rebound went to left side. Big man runs when guards shoot Big man goes to the offensive rebound. When bigs shoot, guards go to offensive rebound. Big man shoots, guards go to offensive rebound. Okay, now we pass the ball to the big man. This is option four. We pass the ball to the big man. He received the ball, fake, like swing the ball, this time, the guard make a backdoor cut. Okay? Big man fake to uh, swing the ball. Fake. Meantime, guards make V cut to receive the ball to, for layup. When the big man turn to his side, make sure the defense will deny the ball from him and we can make a good backdoor. Okay? Option five, we go ball pick. We pass the ball to the big man, fake and go on him. Okay, in this option, we have another one. When we make a ball pick, we can make re-screen also. In this in these uh, options right now we see pass to big man and a uh, ball pick. Okay, uh, option six we make a quick side pick and roll. This is an open side when we don't have another guard in the same corner. Option seven, we pick and pop. Big men pick the ball and pop. Usually we make it with, num with power forward, with number four that can shoot the ball. Okay, he screens and he pop outside to receive the ball for a shot. Again, guards rebound. This is pick and short roll, okay? If we go with five or with four that cannot shoot the ball, he screens. This guy goes, went outside because he can shoot the ball. Usually big man that cannot shoot the ball goes short roll and take a short shot in between shot. Uh, 
and other options that you can create. You can create one on one also. Okay. Uh, option eight: slip the screen. Big man, fake for screen and slip inside to receive the for layup. <clears throat> He comes, fake for a screen, and sleep inside to receive for layup. Okay, now we go three men uh, on the same side. Okay, big men and two guards. And we see now outlet pass and guards, when he take the ball, he corner, he goes in. He takes the shot. Pass, pass, don't need dribble. Usually, so <clears throat> usually it's a, it's a rule. <clears throat> Sorry. Usually it's a rule. When guard receives the ball and there is a corner, before he pass half court, he pass the ball and guard in the corner, uh, takes the ball to the basket, okay? If he pass the half court with a dribble or two, the guard in the corner clean the area, okay? Clean for a shot, clean for a pick and roll, clean for all options that we made bef before, okay? Right, there we go. This is Big man to guard, you saw guard take the rebound. Big man to guard, outlet. And guard shoots the ball. I put them in uh, positions that they are, that they can finish the, the defense, the way, where they stand usually on defense, even, even it's uh, the other side of the middle. Okay, again, now, he goes, okay? Pay for a shot sometimes, and he goes on the baseline. Okay? Now option three with three men, okay? When he receives the ball, he doesn't receive the ball, he goes back door, okay? Before he receives the ball, or for a shot, or for a layup. Now he doesn't receive, overplayed him. We send the corner back door and pass him the ball, okay? Option four, okay, guards now, we send three, and he recognized that guards defend him. He goes low post, and we make a big man guard flare, flare screen, okay? Three, post up, big to guard, screen, flare screen, for a shot. <clears throat> Again, three, Big man screen. Also, big man after the screen, he goes in, post up, or offensive rebound. Okay, again, post up, flare screen, and he goes to the rim. Receive the ball in the paint. After, if they switch on a good shooter, he goes inside the guard, whatever he screen and goes to the basket, okay? Now option five, we post him up, big man flare screen and again screen, okay? Re-screen. We post up three flare screen and now re-screen. <clears throat> Oh, 
Okay, now we pass the ball, guard, cut. On a pass, pass, cut, big man gets the ball. We will see some options here that guards can receive the ball, that big man can cut after him. Now big man shoots the ball. Guard, pass, cut, big man shoot. <clears throat> Card pass the, the corner and cut for shot, for layup. <coughs> Guard pass, cut, get the ball for layup. Okay, now Guard cannot pass the corner. He dribbles the ball. And corners, when he goes back door, he goes to the other corner. And now we pass the ball for a shot. Now you see it better. He goes to the other corner. Guard penetrate and kick the other corner. Again, guard pull him. He goes to the other corner. Look at the guard with the ball. He makes a dribble fake like he goes back, penetrate, and he hit the other corner. Okay? <clears throat> now we go without strong side. Okay? Cannot get the ball. We pass. No pass. Pick and roll. Side pick and roll. Pass the ball. Three cannot get the ball, side pick and roll. Okay, this you saw on the two, two on zero, the, all the options that the, this quarter of the floor is uh, clear, clear and clean. Okay, never forget then three goes to the other corner, he is open for a shot. Okay. Now we go side pick and roll, and we back screen the big man. Okay, three goes, cannot get the ball. Side pick and roll, and big man receive the ball off a back screen. Okay, side pick and roll, back screen, big man receive the ball off back screen. Three cuts, and he gets back to backdoor screen. Mostly everybody run to the big man and trick and receive the ball for a good shot. When this happens, mostly big men, the whole defense is in panic that the big man won't get the ball and the guard is open. Okay. Now we go screen the screener. This is my, our 11 option with three men, okay? This like the guards receive stagger screen. Screen one, screen two, and he shoots the ball. Here, big man can roll inside or pop out, okay? Now we can make re-screen of big man, right? We have a screen here. He comes off the screen and we make a re-screen. Again, screen, he comes off the screen, ball pick and re-screen. Big man is open. Okay. Now, one pass the ball to three, and he delay the defense of the big man, okay? Delay the screen and goes out, okay? When he delays the, the screen, four or five big men going in, okay? This is one option. 
פרס דה קורנר, דיליי סקרין היר, ביג מן גורס אינסייד, נאו גארד שוטס דה בול. אופציה נאמבר 14, אוקיי? דיליי סקרין, אינסייד פיק אנד רול, בטווין דה סקרינר אנד דה ביג. אוקיי? פס, דיליי סקרין, ביג מן קאמס אימידייטלי, פור סייד פיק אנד רול. With this option you can make also back screen, corner back screen, which is uh, very tough uh, to defend. אוקיי? פס, דיליי, פס דה ביג מן, ספליט, One of the guards got to be open. Delay. Again, big man pass. You feed the big man and you split. Okay. We go to four and zero now. We go with two bigs and two guards. It means four, five, and one, two, or one, three. Okay? Now we teach the big man to take the rebound and run rim to rim. This can be the first big man or the second big man. By the way, to make sure, Atsorega, to make sure there are three things that to make sure that they run, okay? We force the guard or everybody to pass half court in three seconds, three, and be in positions, offensive position in maximum six seconds. Okay, again, three seconds, okay, pass half court, six seconds to be in positions, in a good position to receive and do something good, take good shot to make one-on-one, -on -one, whatever, side pick and roll, whatever, but six seconds, no more. This is for second. Big man, okay? We count his steps, okay? Before we said, guard, when he received the ball between foul line extended and half court, he dribbles twice or only one and pass the ball to the corner. Here, we start counting the big man steps, okay? And you don't have to count, but if when he knows that you count his steps, he starts pushing his, himself to run quick. Okay? Aide. <clears throat> Big man rebound. Run rim to rim. Okay. Option two, guard cut. Big man finish. Okay, guard pass the ball to three, to the corner. three or two, whatever, pass the ball cut for a... Both of them can receive the ball. If the defense are not organized, one of them must get the ball. When everybody run to their men with the ball, to the shooter, uh, to cover the shot, three point must, three point area, got to be free, okay? Now we push the corner because we cannot pass him the ball. We push him to the other corner. Okay? Penetrate. It's two options now. When the guard, when the point guard penetrate, he can pass the ball either side. He can pass the ball to his corner when corner help, defensive corner help, or when the other corner is too far for the defense to cover, okay? Now we go for option four with the four uh, players. We post up the big, the first big, and we flare, okay? Other big men make a flare screen to the guard. Post up with four 
or with five, usually four gets first, and five gets second, so five make the flare screen. Okay? Now we post up five when five gets the ball. When four gets the rebound and five run first, we want to post him on a four or on a guard. And we start swinging the ball. He take a position to receive the ball from the wing or from the big man, big to big. Okay? Cannot post him from here. If we pass, he dribbles the ball or make one on one or hit the other corner. Okay? Now we swing the ball. We pass the ball to big men. We swing and we post five from the other side and we make an angle screen. Okay? Second big, after he swing the ball, we post up and we make this is a screen that it's very tough to recover to cover. Okay, this scene on the weak side, we are, first we isolate the big man, and second, the second big man, screen to the weak side, usually angle screen, which is very hard to recover, to cover. So, okay, now I show you very shortly two, three options, and we talk about the rest of five against zero. Okay, now we go. Five against zero. We make side pick and roll without strong side corner. Okay, this is option one. Okay, first big man goes here. Right? Now, weak side wing. Can we go back a little? Can we go back a little? Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. You see, when big man gets the ball, weak side wing flash to the basket, okay? And the second big man screen an angle screen to the shooter, okay? We run. Don't forget the guy who Flash goes to the store, to the uh, weak side corner. Okay, we post up weak side flash, big man screen angle screen to the guard and flash to the basket. He screen and roll inside. Okay. We post up weak side flash again. Shooter gets the ball, everybody run to the shooter, big man get the ball. Now we go corner cut, okay? Cannot get the ball, stop for a second, stop for a second or let's go rewind, rewind, slow down, okay. Now listen, it's, wait, wait, slowly, 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 okay, now listen. Big man received the ball in the mid post, okay? Because the corner couldn't get the ball, okay? When, usually when big man gets the ball, the defender of the guard in the corner looks at the ball. This time, when number three, when the corner man sees the back of the defender, he cuts under the basket. Run, okay? And weak side, again, weak side action, we do the same. The man who cuts on the baseline goes out of the screen. Okay, again, corner, weak side, exactly. Okay. Post up. Now we post up too low. This is not good. Anyway, guard from the corner cuts and receives the ball. Okay. Now we make five on zero what we run on the three 
on zero, now we run it five on zero, we make a play which is go good for zone and for men, okay? Delay screen, side pick and roll, and we continue with middle pick and roll. Okay, <clears throat> we see this again. S, corner, delay, and the first big who runs inside goes to, to pick a, a middle pick and roll. Again, we pass the corner, delay, side pick and roll, Big guard cannot get the ball. Big men take the ball. In this, case, in this case, he went one on one, but he can pass the ball to the guard and rescreen. Okay? One more option. It's very easy. We stagger. Okay? The shooters. We have shooters. We want them to shoot the ball as quick as possible or short time on the shot clock. We pick. We stagger the first, we stagger the second, okay? Then you can continue post up, you can continue like anything you know. This is, wait, it's not the end. This is an option for quick shot, uh, for three point shot, and uh, the shot clock is low. Uh, two, three more options, okay? First of all, with all the options we can make, instead of screen, we can make handoff, okay? special against the, uh, let's say, top side defense, okay? We can make handoff and continue. This is first option. Second, we can make handoff, back cut. We can make handoff and rescreen. With all the options, we can add also handoff, okay? Uh, two options that we add. Uh, on uh, on uh, the side from the two against zero, then the three against zero. When big man receives the ball to swing it, he can go back and instead of pass the ball back door, he can dribble to the guard. This is an open court, right? On the side, on the on the on this quarter, on the side, he can dribble and pass back door. He can dribble to the guard and handoff. He can do everything with a dribble, one dribble, no more, okay? A guard denied cannot get the ball. We dribble the ball to him or pass him back door or give him the ball handoff, okay? Now, this is very important uh, point before uh, uh, we talk about uh, two options uh, of swings, okay? One, when we cannot pass the ball to one in the position we want, okay? Or the opponents are coming uh, ready to avoid, to deny the ball from number one or to receiver, can be number two or three also, to one of the guards, okay? We pass the ball big to big. This means that the second big man which didn't take the rebound, he got to look at the big man who inbound the ball, okay? Now we have two options. Or we pass the ball big to big and point guard or guard and we start running, or, and this is you have to teach. Today, when we play with the power forward, which most of them are small forwards and they can dribble the ball, most of them, you have to teach your players, or there are also teams that are running with four guards, one big, okay? You have to teach the other players where everybody stands when four leads the ball. When he dribbles the ball, where everybody stands, shoot, dribble, cut, uh, Hand off. 
pick and roll, whatever. But this is something that can happen few times in a game, and everybody got to know to take an advantage on this because there are very good uh, power forward players that can dribble the ball and create uh, others, create uh, others good shot. Okay? And uh, so we had the, the option to pass the ball big to big and guard. Uh, one, one, one or two more options when we run uh, five on zero and then uh, uh, five on five. First of all, all five on zero got to be limit under time, okay? Then when we run five on five, when we throw the ball on the backboard and we run five on five after rebound uh, transition, we have to get an open shot, a good shot. One on one is also a good shot, especially if there is an advantage, okay? A big man post up in the paint is also good shot. Now, we give 12 seconds. You can start with 14 and you reduce, okay? But limit the time and you have to feel and to read the situation. If they, if the offense start wasting time and and, and and they won't get an open shot or a good shot, stop it immediately, okay? Make them create good shots as quick as possible. This is first. Second, when we run five against zero, okay? Put five conuses on the other side, on the defensive side. After a good shot, open shot, of course, on five against zero, we have only good shots. You force them in five seconds to be on a, on a defensive positions, okay? You can, you can uh, write numbers on the conuses, okay? One to five. And, you, and in these cases, you also said, we took a shot, two men, from outside, two men go to the offensive rebound, okay? After the ball hit the rim, five men, all five players in five seconds, okay? They have to be in a position, everybody near one of the conuses, even mismatch, but everybody got to be next to one of the conuses, okay? Now, two options that uh, we didn't see because also the players, uh, they, were play, they were tired after uh, one, hour, uh, one hour of practice uh, because they didn't practice a lot of time. Two more options is a swings. Swing option, okay? There are, first of all, all options on the weak side. This is fair. Second, which is good, and I ran it like 20 years ago, Swing when five is out and four is in, okay? You swing the ball and you make a pin down, five, four, four, to four switch, okay? Four switch, that four defender will take five in the paint and then we pass big to big, even from the wings we can pass, but big to big uh, pass because this is a straight line between the uh, ball and uh, the, the big man that made the, the pin down. Whatever, swing and pin down is a good situation. It's good for zone, it's good for men. Swing the ball, side pick and roll, good for zone, good for men. Swing the ball, make one on one on the weak side, is good. Swing the ball, hit the corner, cut, also good. Everything good for zone and men, everything under 12 seconds. Listen, if you want to run the game, limit the time. Never play 20 seconds. Never. Most of the bad shots 
are coming between 20 and 24, and you unbalance back on defense. As quick as you take the shot, okay, you have an option, a better option, to take the offensive rebound and to take a good shot, okay? We played most of the time limit and force the players to run, okay? Rebound, I mean defensive rebound, you don't give chance to play set of no five on five, only transition. It means when you take the defensive rebound, the offense got 12 seconds to get a good opportunity to shoot the ball, okay? Outside, inside, whatever. So they are playing at the beginning, they are under pressure, but as the time goes and they practice and they used to the time, they know to read the time, to feel the time, and they know when we take the defensive rebound, we have to take a quick, good shot. Never give players to take bad shot, okay? If they, not, if they cannot create good shot under 12 seconds, they put the ball on the floor and they sprint back on defense, okay? Uh, I believe here we cover most, okay? Most of the situation that we can create, we can get uh, um, under 12 seconds, of course, and we have all the options uh, starting from the two on zero, three on zero, uh, four and five, okay? Then we every practice, we throw the ball, and uh, first of all, we fight for the defensive rebound, and then every rebound, we count we count time and we count baskets, okay? Never run any plays, any transition without counting. We count 10 possessions, how many good shots we took from 10 possessions. And we got to increase the, uh, the, the percentage, okay? We count every rebound, we count every off, and we count how many baskets or how many at the beginning, at least how many good shots we create and then how many good baskets in a high percentage we made. I believe, I don't know if we can, if we can have uh, questions, but if not, uh, thank you for listening to me. Are we okay? Coach, are you there? Yeah, of course. Perfect, perfect. Uh, we, I would like to remind uh, to the people watching us, we have a good uh, attendance in the Facebook uh, Live that uh, we are open for questions. Uh, they can write down the questions in the chat. And okay. we, are, uh, we are, and Coach uh, Gerson will uh, be happy to answer any questions you have about the different situations we saw in the offense. Uh, we have a question here, Coach, here, if you want to start with that, if that's okay with you. Okay. So it's uh, from uh, Strados. Uh, he has a question. The, the ball screen, the off-ball screens, and the post-up sequences, Wait, 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 slow down. Slow down, Philip. Okay, I will, I will, I will. You so said two the, things, ball screen? The question is this, the ball screen, the off-ball screens, and the yes. post-up sequences, sequences, are they play, are player movement initiated or play calling? If I understood the question good, listen, we mostly, when we, when the defense goes under, we make risk screen. Okay, all ball picks are situation of or a top side defense or a, a, they avoid side pick and roll with a dribble. Okay, any of them, or sometimes 
three receive the ball, not one, and he's uh, dribble, d- d- dribbling. He's uh, uh, not that good, so he pass the ball and he goes off the screen, off the end of, and then he can re-screen, pass the ball inside, or if the defense goes under the defense and he can shoot, he shoots the ball. Is this good uh, for your for your question, or the question was? Uh, I understood the question well. I we have to ask Estados that, of course. Uh, he's, he did the question. Okay. So we have a next question here from Costas. How many courts uh, do you do, coach? In, in every options, how many courts do you do? Listen, I gave you most of the options, and you have to decide according to your players. Okay. If you have, let's say, a three that can shoot the ball, make him get the ball as soon as possible, or dribble on his side, make his defense help, and pass him the ball for open shot. This is a, an option that you can create when a, when a good shooter is in the corner. When you don't have somebody in the corner that can shoot the ball, clear. When you have one that can make a good side pick and roll, with five, okay? Clear the quarter of this court, okay? Basket, top of the key, sideline, and corner. Clear and make two-man game, okay? When uh, you want to make corner options, okay? I'm telling you that the weak side corner is a weaker defense. The defense there is weak, okay? You pass the ball, you cut and you make the, co- the, the corner pick and roll from the weak side. It depends on the players you have. Okay? You have a good poster player, you post him up. You have a bad poster player, you make him shoot. Okay? Uh, usually, and it starts for <clears throat> from three on two. I can tell you that I teach now players who runs three on two, strong side, when he cuts to the basket from foul line extended and inside, um, telling the three men on the weak side, the shooter on the weak side, to stay outside the three. Okay? No more two players cutting in, 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 into the paint. Okay? On the same time. When the ball is in the elbow or around in the area. Okay, I'm teaching the corner, the weak side corner, to stay for a shot. I cannot, I never saw, okay, a defense, two players on defense, okay, who can cover the two players on the strong side and cover the weak side. Mostly the weak side, okay, if he's quick and weak, weak, okay, the, 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 the third man on defense got to cut the pass to the corner. If we dare, we can get an open shot if we go quick. Okay. Uh, another question, coach, uh, from uh, Domen. Uh, what is the youngest age group uh, of a team? A youngest age group, a team. This kind of a transition offense can be imp- imp- can be implemented. What is the youngest? Uh, I, I believe fifteen. I believe fifteen, sixteen. Why is that? You need somebody more mature, obviously, right? Uh, first of all, b- before that, even 15 are not, let's say, the big men, okay? You, you, you still don't know. They're not strong. 15 they are not strong. You, you don't know who is, who is going to be four, going to be five, okay? This is first. Second, and this is the most option, the, the most uh, option to run, is when you run till 15, run with four players outside and one inside and penetrate kick out, okay? Don't run any play. Mostly create shots from one-on-one, from open game, penetrate, pick, uh, kick, kick out, fill the other side, other side, fill the middle, and, and, and try to create from four, four men outside, try to create uh, options, okay? Perfect. Uh, we have a follow-up question by Strados. Um, 
the question is uh, I'm reading it now as it came in. So just uh, I'm reading as I'm, um, I'm seeing it for the first time. Uh, so do you spend a lot of time on read and react and execution speed practice? If so, how much time do you spend in each practice? And again, he thanks you for the previous answer, which he says was fulfilling. Okay, listen. First of all, I can tell you that I use five on zero. Okay, every practice at the beginning as warm up. Before I give my trainer to make the anything you want, stretching, matching, earning, whatever. Uh, all, all, all what he works before his 20 minutes, we run five on zero. Okay? And we run all transition situation, we run. We're not running 16 uh, options. I gave you 16, 17 options, maybe more, that you can choose what to run. And <clears throat> from your knowledge, and I believe, I believe most of the coaches that they create from what I show, they create something that is good for them. I'm not saying, okay, this is the option, run it, okay? When I had, uh, let's say, a good, a very good five that can post up under the basket 20 years ago, I ran it. When I had uh, players that can shoot the ball, I ran a uh, place for them. When I need a quick shot under eight seconds, I run stagger, stagger, okay? But I have it in the bank, but I'm not running 20 situations. Okay, but must know transition you play according to the pass or the dribble you make. Okay, you're not calling not one, not two, not three, not this, not nothing. Okay, you pass the ball to the corner, you make an option. You pass the ball to the weak side, you make an option. You swing the ball, it's an option. You pass the ball to the corner and you go to the late screen of the big man, it's an option, okay? No sign, no stop the, the tempo, nothing. High tempo. I run five against zero every practice, and I run a defensive drill, and five against five transition every, almost every uh, practice. All right, and we have uh, one more, uh, another question from uh, Thanasis. He wants to know if uh, all this, do you teach this in one practice or do you choose parts of them and teach them in three, four, five practices? If you choose what? The question Again? is if you, if you teach all this that you showed us in dur during one practice or do you choose, do you teach them during three, four, five or more practices? You okay. spread it out during practices. Listen, coach, listen. You got to feel what the players know. Two against zero, it's easy, okay? You're not teaching, let's say, I run, I believe, five or six options of uh, two against zero, okay? First of all, you don't, have to, you don't have to use all these six or seven, and there are more options. I just show you to open your mind but there are many options of uh, two against zero and three against zero. You run what you want. You have two or three options of each one of the situation, two, three, and four. This is what you run, okay? Now you see, they run it good, continue. They make good side, side pick and roll. Let's start with this, that they have to take the rebound good, okay? Then they have to make the outlet good. Then they have to make the side pick and roll good, okay? They make it good, continue, make backdoor, make shot, make post up, then you go to three, okay? Teaching is, I don't know how much time it takes, depend of the uh, age. If they are uh, mature enough, it will take quick, okay? Bigs, it's easy, okay? Over 18 years old, they can make it easy. These guys, what you saw, that running the, the practice, they are all 18 years old, okay? And they, and they, most of the play, most of the drills they run, not most, maybe 50%, and the rest I, I said one time, said we make rebound, outlet, corner, uh, cut, 
delay screen or whatever, and they made it immediately. You have codes and they have to run it. Another question by Spiros. He wants to know how can you teach the players? How can you make the players understand the difference between a good shot from a rushed shot? How the offense, not the defense, right? The, the players, not to call, yes, the, the offense. The player, yeah, okay. How to make the difference between a okay. good shot and a rush shot. Guys, guys, listen, first of all, as far as I know, uh, there are many coaches who don't like uh, in-between shots, okay? They want a shot or in the paint or from the tree. Okay, this is first. Second, a good shot, uh, the coach will ask, will ask the question, it's a shot that you take and you have high percentage to make it, okay? Now, it's also a shot that you usually take from this position, okay? If you are, let's say, 15 years old and you're not used to take a, a, a shot from the corner and you do not believe, by the way, I'm not looking in this age on young ages if they make it or not. I want to make sure that they know to take the shot, okay? And where and from where to take the shot, okay? When they miss the shot, first of all, I have an option, as I said, to take an offensive rebound. Second, you got to understand, uh, 14 years old are 30% from the tree. When they go 15, they are 32%. When they go 16, 30, 32, 34. When they go to under 20, they are already 40%. So every uh, age, every uh, national team, every level, they increase the percentage of the tree. So you have to teach them since they are 14 years old, what is a good shot and to take it, okay? And then you look at the percentage. Never go to the locker room and tell them you scored only 30% uh, from the tree. Never. If they took good shots and they miss, they will make it. One day, they will make it. When they be 16, 18, or 20, but they will make it. Now they have to take an open shot. Open shot. This is the most important thing. Okay? And also, good range because you can take open shot from half court because there's no difference there. But you take open shot from a position that you can make a good percentage when you be 18 years old. Uh, just a reminder for everybody watching us that Coach Bini Gerson is available for questions. So we, we already answered a bunch of the questions that sent, all the questions that were sent. And uh, Coach Gerson uh, is open to your questions. It's an opportunity to ask him anything you want. Coach, just a quick question for myself until we have maybe uh, another question coming in about the uh, coronavirus, the pandemic, and about the next day after this pandemic. What will change for coaches uh, regarding uh, coaching and the way you work on the court with your players? Okay. <clears throat> First of all, I tell you that uh, we were like after uh, 10, 14 days that uh, we were in uh, quarantine, we made uh, video practices, okay? Uh, Zoom practices. Uh, most, of the, most of the players who are uh, in the national teams from uh, 14 years old till 20, uh, saw the practices by the individual uh, coach who, who is responsible of uh, individual uh, plays, drills, whatever. And we have a trainer. Every time we have the trainer that uh, teach you how to make uh, practices at home, at home, backyard, uh, near, near the, the apartment you live, whatever. And uh, we practice. Okay, I can tell you that this is game, but we can improve fundamentals, okay? All, all things that uh, don't need a uh, gym, 
don't need rim, don't need uh, light, don't need uh, parquet, don't need whatever, okay? Everything that you can make it outside. You can dribble outside, you can pass the wall, you can take a, a point on the wall and shoot to the point, you can take a garbage, uh, whatever, and throw the ball to the, to the garbage, you can make everything, okay? And then we, uh, by GMs of the clubs, we pass them co uh, tra uh, trainings, like uh, practices for kids under 12 years old, okay? But we practice, okay? Now, because we go this week and also national teams starting uh, practicing, start practicing, I can tell you one thing, that in two days we run another clinic. And first of all, we made a lot of clinics, okay, to these coaches, how to make it and everything. Now, this weekend on Friday, we make a, a clinic, all coaches in the country, how to get back to practices, because this is the most danger situation for players, okay? You were like this six weeks, you practice here, you practice there, but all those who didn't practice full speed, if they come now to the court, to the gym, and you force him to run crazy, he can tear his muscle, okay? We have to know, to teach them now how to get back in shape, how to stretch, what to do uh, according to the situation, of course, but this is very important. We have a, a clinic with a doctor, with a trainer, and, and me, how to get back to practices. This is very important. Do not push players because this is most important. Uh, when we start, we practice only half team, okay? Like seven, eight players, okay? This is very important. When you start seven, eight players, uh, every player got the ball, you can work harder, okay? Usually, when you have this situation, you can work harder, okay? But now, because you don't have 15, 16 players, we're not practicing everybody together, okay? Because you practice only half a team, you have to take it easy, not easy, very easy. Step by step, back to shape. <clears throat> I don't hear you. Yes, coach, uh, just a, a closing remark if possible, since this uh, seminar was watched by many coaches, actually, we were watching the numbers from Greece and Cyprus. We had a uh, high participation. Maybe if it's uh, okay from you to give us a, a closing remark and a greeting to the coaches that watch from Cyprus and Greece. And I think uh, with this, with your last reply, we will finish our interview as well, our, our clinic. Okay. Uh... First of all, uh, I appreciate and I thank all those who uh, came to watch me. I hope uh, you learn something. When you see a coach in clinic, if you take only 5% from his philosophy and you take 5% from many coaches, you can be a good coach. This is fair. Second, don't be ashamed to see coaches that coaching under the level you uh, coach, because maybe they saw one of the better coaches, okay? They, they learn from him and they can uh, teach you or can show you, or you can, you can find something that you don't know. Their best is to watch practices and talk to coaches. This is the best clinic, okay? clinic, you heard me talking, whatever. Uh, there are few of you accepted. Some of them, maybe, maybe they say, uh, this is Malakias. I don't know. But uh, you got to know, if you see practice and you talk to the coach, this is the best way to be better, okay? No read books, no YouTube, no uh, all the, again, all the Malakias. Uh, third, Okay, 
listen, since I, like 27 years ago, since I took the, my first championship in the first division, uh, I took many championships uh, uh, low levels, like lower divisions. But this nobody count me, count for me, okay? They took only on the on top level. What I wanted to, to tell you is when I was young, I could be proud of the players that I helped them to be national players, that they could be one or five. When I coach a junior team, I put five players on the national team, on the junior national team. So I could be proud of the players that I can develop and put them in national team, okay? So I don't know what level uh, coaches who are listening to me now are, uh, are coaching, but not everybody can be championship, champion. Everybody wants to be champion, and I wish you to be champions, okay? But till you make it and you be there, uh, by, by the way, to succeed or success or whatever, it's not to take one trophy or one successful season or uh, one championship or whatever. This is a way of life, okay? You live to be successful. Now you take an opportunity to make, to do something good. What I mean is, if you don't have a team to be champion, or this is not the level you can be champion, help players to be better players, be national players, okay? Or day by day, we have to prove ourselves day by day, day by day. Make sure every practice you make, I won't say go out sweat, okay? But make sure you make players better players. Every practice, do your best to make players better. Then make team better. If you make uh, players better, for sure you will have better team. Coach, thank you very much for your uh, for your no the spreading of knowledge today. It was very interesting. And uh, judging from the questions, the amount of questions and the number of people that watch the, uh, the video, uh, I'm sure that uh, they, uh, they can agree. Of course, the video will be posted in a few moments on the Facebook page of the Cyprus Basketball Federation, uh, where people will be able to rewatch it. So hopefully more people will have the chance to enjoy what they saw and learn stuff, maybe not 5%, but 15, 20, 25% take from you will be a benefit for everyone. So again, uh, Coach Bini Gerson, Thank you very much, and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you for hosting me, hosting me. Be healthy and free, all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.